Hello everybody, my name is Professor Howe and I'm here to talk to you today about safety glasses. Safety glasses are personal protective equipment and one of our most important pieces of equipment while we're in the lab. So if you are a prescription glasses wearer, as am I, here are some safety glasses that would go over your prescription glasses. Some folks I have seen over the years do very well with these and others get annoyed or irritated because they are, in fact, wearing two pairs of glasses uh, at the same time. So again, if you're a prescription glasses wearer, you may decide that you want to purchase your own pair of safety glasses. Notice that these safety glasses are indeed different than the ones that I'm wearing. Notice I have no safety shield, uh, side shields here, and these, in fact, do. All of our safety glasses have to meet the Z87 0.1-2010 standard. So uh, if you go to your prescription uh, glass preparer or eyeglass uh, outlet, you will find that these are in fact uh, heavier frames, heavier lenses, and do in fact have the side shields. So again, if you're a prescription glasses wearer, this might be the route to go. A little bit more expensive. Also, I have here, if you um, don't need the correction or you wear contact lenses. Remember, there are no safety contact lenses. So these glasses are available uh, anywhere from $5 to $7 to start out. And if you want something labeled with your favorite motorcycle or uh, things like that, you can certainly spend more than uh, the 7 or 8 bucks uh, to do that. So these glasses, notice that they wrap around and so they incorporate the side shields that the prescription glasses have right in them. We're pretty strict about safety glasses, so in our shop you must have the safety glasses ready to go and be wearing them at all times. So here we are outside of our machine tool lab. I'm going to put on my safety glasses as you should anytime you enter the lab, so come on in. All right, so welcome to our shop. Here we are inside our machine tool lab, and there are some things that you probably will want to know, like how do I show up, and what kind of dress and attire do I wear the day I come to my first lab. Well, let's talk about footwear for a moment. If we're going to the beach, our sandals or flip-flops are perfectly appropriate. They are not appropriate. No open-toe shoes would be allowed in our machine tool lab. Obviously, there are things that we can drop and things that, uh, as we manufacture um, parts, the chips and other things can end up there. And uh, so no open-toe shoes. Other shoes are perfectly appropriate. If you want to wear steel toe shoes, that's, that's no problem at all. Uh, boots, things of that nature, that's fine. Okay. Some of the fibers that we might use, some of the makeup of our clothing, we found that cotton, a natural fiber, is really the best. Some of the man-made fibers will actually melt when hot chips touch them. Uh, it's rare, but that can happen. So jeans, t-shirts, uh, cotton clothing is typically the best in the machine tool lab. So let's talk about some other things that are safety related today. Jewelry. So here's my wedding band. That should come off when I come into the machine tool lab. The reason is that chips and other, and I'm around running machinery, if that ring gets caught, it certainly will tip and it's likely to do some damage to my finger. So that would come off. Likewise, any hanging jewelry, we would want to take that off. In the wintertime, a lot of people will come in in sweatshirts and they have the uh, hood ties. And so those need to get tucked in well. And if you happen to have long hair, that of course would need to be tied back securely so that it can't get into any running machinery. Sometimes we find that we want to protect our hands and we want to wear gloves. And there are some rare occasions where we would do that when we're handling stock, perhaps coming off the truck, things like that. Not typically what students are going to do. So for the most part, gloves are not worn in the machine tool lab because they can simply get caught and pull you into running machinery. So uh, if you're ever in doubt, 
talk to your lab uh, assistant or your professor in the machine tool lab and they can give you more help. So we all know that we're pretty connected to our electronic devices, our cell phones, our MP3 players, things like that. We don't allow any music of any kind in the machine tool lab. Again, this is an educational environment. We're learning. We're learning not only what we see happen, but also what we hear happen. And so playing music with earbuds or uh, an external speaker, we simply don't allow in our machine tool lab. Also, we don't want you to be texting or on the phone uh, during your lab time if there are cases, and I'm sure they might come up, where you just need to get that, that call and it's very important. Talk to your lab assistant or your professor and let them know what's going on, okay? So cell phone usage uh, is really not something we encourage in the machine tool lab. Also, we want you to be in your best shape. So if you happen to, uh, for one reason or another, you come in very tired, that would probably be a time that you wouldn't want to participate in a lab. You're running uh, machinery that we can make beautiful parts with, but at the same time, there are, some, there are some inherent dangers in running machinery, and so we want to be as careful as we can. So if this applies to you, please let us know, and we'll set you up with an alternative lab time. Likewise, prescription drugs, things of that nature. You might be sick or you might be ill or injured. And if you find that you are required to take some kind of medication that of course will speed your healing process, and if it recommends that you don't run heavy equipment, then again, we want to know and we certainly will try to accommodate you and have you come in uh, when you're not taking that medication. Alcohol, non-prescription drugs of any kind, um, we cer certainly just can't allow you to be in the lab during those times and of course uh, we would not encourage that kind of thing. So if any of these things apply to you during the course of your time here, please let us know. Uh, again, uh, the professors and the lab assistants have the ability to um, ask you to not be in a lab, so bear that in mind. Okay, thanks.